Hello everyone, this is Mr. Brain Junkie here, and today we'll be talking about a science fiction film called Monsters Battlefield. Be ready for some spoilers ahead. Somewhere in the city of China, a giant snake monster is swimming inside the lake while all the people are going about their lives like everything is normal. A truck driver notices something dropping in front of his vehicle and rushes outside in anger, believing that someone is playing a prank. He quickly realizes that something is wrong alongside all the civilians as they see a massive creature drop down and knocking everyone onto the ground. The man regains his composure and sees the monster roaring furiously at the crowd while all the people try desperately to run for their lives. The civilians rush towards the buildings to hide from the monster, while the creature unleashes a massive shockwave that destroys everything nearby. Ten years ago, a military airplane is flying across the sky, eventually heading towards a massive mine that's being occupied by numerous workers. The main character, Cheng, goes alongside his entire team to meet Dr. Yi, who's also the man's wife. It turns out that they have discovered unusual amounts of radiation inside the mine and are forced to go into the caves to look for the missing workers. They arrive at the bottom of the structure and prepares to go inside, but immediately notices the lethal radiation which are still increasing by the moment. The people begin to head inside carefully as they try to avoid setting off any explosions and they quickly find the missing workers who have died already. The team continue forwards to find the source of radiation and eventually locates a mysterious object that appears to be an ancient asteroid. The doctor carefully approaches the stone to examine its nature, while Ching tells his men to be very alert. They quickly find out that the asteroid contains an element that's not even on the periodic table, and Dr. E begins taking a sample so that they can study it further. What they don't realize is that there's an egg behind the giant rock, which is hatching very quickly. Very soon, a member begins detecting heartbeats inside the stone which is clearly not human, and the giant tentacle launches out to attack the people. The team retreats immediately away from the asteroid as they see a horrifying monster appearing in front of them and prompting the people to shoot furiously at the creature. However, the bullets don't seem to be effective against the enemy as the monster kills the team members one by one. With no other choice, Chen begins distracting the alien and giving his wife a chance to escape, but the creature grabs onto the man and pulls him away using tremendous force. Chen manages just to stop himself by holding onto a heavy container, but ends up breaking his leg as a result. The doctor sees this and tries to help her husband by striking the massive tentacle which eventually frees the man. They immediately rush towards the elevator as the monster chases them closely behind, and Cheng throws a grenade towards the enemy, causing a massive explosion that knocks the creature down. The emergency door begins closing due to the vibrations as the people rush desperately for the exit, but Cheng is unable able to run due to his broken leg. In the last moment, Dr. E is penetrated by the creature's tentacle as she pushes her husband away and managing to save the man's life by sacrificing herself. They try to open up the gates to save the woman, but nothing seems to work as the man is forced to watch his lover from behind the door. E tells her husband that everything will be alright as she turns around to face the incoming enemy. Cheng's teammate begins pulling him towards the elevator as the woman prepares to trigger the bomb inside the cave, not wanting to become a victim for the tentacle monster. A huge explosion erupts inside the tunnel as the people barely makes it out from the exit, and Cheng crawls desperately towards the cave as he cries in hopelessness. Ten years after the tragic event, Cheng is now working inside a restaurant where he prepares food for the customers while still suffering from his broken leg. His terrible attitude often offends the people while getting him in trouble with the restaurant owner, but the man clearly doesn't care as he drowns himself using alcohol. On the other side, a secret experiment is being conducted by Professor Gu, who was the only other survivor of the incident besides the main character. He plans to move the asteroid that's being kept in a secret facility underground with the help of Dr. Tan, who has made sure that the area would not be occupied. All they need now is someone who has prior experience fighting the monster, and the professor only knows one other person who's qualified for the job. He goes to towards the main character later that night, and tries to convince the man to work for him again, but Cheng refuses immediately, not being able to forget his traumatic experience. The professor reveals that the 
asteroid's radiation is increasing very dramatically, which greatly endangers everyone who's living inside the city. The man tries to convince Ching by reminding him about his wife's goal of bettering humanity, but only manages to anger the main character as he rushes off immediately. However, Ching has a hard time ignoring the professor's offer as he starts remembering his wife's death like it was yesterday. He begins thinking about the woman's dreams as she dedicated all her time trying to save people's lives, which makes Ching decide to take on the mission one last time. He goes inside the kitchen and takes the prosthetic that was made for him, finally deciding to put on the machine which restores the man's mobility despite his injuries. The next day, a team of soldiers hired by Professor Gu arrives towards the secret facility as they're led by a vicious captain known as Pan. They all watch curiously as another vehicle head towards the building, and Chen gets out from the car to meet his new teammates. Dr. Ten approaches the main character right away, and it turns out that they knew each other from a long time ago, as the woman was one of his wife's closest students. Very soon, the people all put on their battle armors as they head inside the large facility, while the doctor stays behind to monitor the operation. The team makes it inside the large tunnel, as the people turn on all the lights that they have. Dr. Ten tells her teammates to be very careful while staring at the building's layouts, as the radiation may have changed the organisms inside the structure. The people maneuver slowly towards the objective as they eventually arrive in front of the stone. Surprisingly, when the team members go check for signs of radiation increase like the professor suggested, they're not able to find any abnormalities. Not wanting to waste any more time, they put the stone inside the dolly and prepares to leave the area immediately. The people head back towards the entrance by following the same path, but quickly runs into a wall that completely blocks off their way. The team becomes very confused as they don't understand how the tunnels could have changed. The captain tells one of his men to check out the wall, and Chen quickly realizes that something is very wrong. The people begin to notice that the surface is moving, and the soldier is devoured immediately by massive jaws. Everyone begins shooting at the giant creature as they move back in fear, eventually forcing them to run away and try to escape from a different path. The monster chases behind them closely as Lieutenant Chen falls down from the chaos, and the man quickly realizes that more creatures are attacking them from above. Luckily, he's pulled away by Ching, while all the soldiers fire at the monsters furiously, but the bullets don't seem to be effective at damaging the enemies. The creatures begin killing the people one by one as the humans are overpowered by the opponents, and Ching tells the lieutenant to take away the asteroid immediately. He tries to hold off the monsters with the captain, giving the people a chance to escape, as they all run desperately towards the exit while the enemies chase them closely behind. The people eventually manage to make it towards the opening, while Cheng throws a grenade right behind him to slow down the monsters. The soldiers are able to make it outside before the large explosion kills one of the enemies and knocking down all the monsters at the same time. The people get up immediately and begins running in different directions while the remaining monsters chase them like preys. Dr. Ten begins hearing the gunshots from the outside and slowly moves towards the back of the truck as she opens the gates, and is shocked to see the captain and Chang rushing towards her. The people charge inside immediately as they desperately hide away from the enemy, while the monster searches around the area for its preys. The team try to stay quiet to avoid the confrontation, but the creature rushes towards the truck and flips the entire vehicle onto the ground. The people are able to recover from from the attack, but the doors are quickly ripped open by the monster as it grabs one of the researchers into the air. The soldiers fire their weapons immediately to hold the enemy back, and the doctor sees that the lieutenant is running their way while being chased by a second creature. Chen begins shooting towards the wall, trying to make an exit for the people, as the other teammates continue running towards them. The main character eventually breaks out from the vehicle as the captain leaves a grenade inside the trunk, while they barely miss the attack from the second monster. The people take the chance to run away immediately and escaping the area just in time before a massive explosion occurs right behind them and blowing everything into pieces. The enemies are killed by the shockwave as the people quickly run towards their vehicle before any more hostiles appear in the area. The team drives away immediately while realizing that they have been tricked into a mission that's way more dangerous than they previously thought. At the same time, the professor is showing his audience the fruits of his research 
research as a giant animal is revealed in front of everyone. Before he can continue the presentation, the ceiling is broken open and knocking the men towards the ground. Giant tentacles grab onto the animal and pulls it towards the roof as a massive monster has taken the creature to be its prey. Very soon, the mercenaries arrive at the meeting location and brings out the asteroid together while the captain is furious that they were given such dangerous mission. He notices the professor coming his way and immediately punches the man onto the ground for deceiving his team. The captain grabs onto Professor Gu and demands that they be compensated more in the future before rushing away in anger. Cheng approaches the man as well and is disappointed that his friend actually lied to him about the increasing radiation. He wants to know the real reason to why they moved the asteroid, but the professor only assures the main character that it's for the greater good. The man goes immediately towards his laboratory and is quickly revealed that he's creating a giant monster by using the elements from the asteroid. He tells the scientists to install the mind-controlling device onto the creature so that he can make the most powerful biological weapon for mankind. However, the monster's heartbeat starts increasing very quickly, eventually causing what appears to be a heart attack that renders the creature unconscious. The scientist goes to unlock the restraints immediately as they plan to inject even more of the mutating elements into the massive reptile. Very soon, the professor realizes that something is wrong as the dragon's temperature is still going up, suggesting that the creature is faking its coma. The monster opens its eyes and begins ripping apart the chains before completely shattering all the restraints on its body and allowing it to escape from the laboratory. At the same time, Chen begins hearing sirens from inside the building, while the massive dragon charges out from the corridor and crushing down all the people in the process. Chen is shocked to see the giant monster and immediately tries to escape the facility alongside the doctor. They eventually make it towards the lower floor but are surprised to see that all the people are injured already. The two slowly turns around as they realize that the monster is right behind them and forcing them to hide immediately. They try to remain silent as the creature slowly maneuvers across the hallway but are quickly discovered by the dragon instead. The monster roars furiously at the people while Cheng tries distracting the creature to give the woman a chance to escape, but the dragon quickly locks onto Yan and making her its prey. The doctor runs towards the exit as the creature prepares to charge towards the woman, but she manages to open the gates just in time as the monster breaks out from the facility. The people watch in amazement as the creature escapes into the wilderness, and Cheng questions the woman immediately, realizing that she knew about the experiment this whole time. It turns out that they only took the asteroid because they needed more of the elements, and Chen questions the doctor about how she can do this being a student of his wife. He tells her that she can still redeem herself by minimizing the damage if she's willing to help him take back the asteroid. The next day, while still assessing the damages to his lab, the professor notices on the camera that Chen has taken the stone, prompting him to call the captain to stop the man immediately. The main character brings the asteroid into the elevator, but is quickly interrupted by the soldiers, who begin surrounding him from all sides. They attack the men at the same time, but Cheng is able to fend off the strikes as he tries to knock the enemies away. However, the opponent's teamwork is too much for the main character as he gets knocked to the floor by the female soldier while the lieutenant points a gun towards the man. Chen takes the chance and throws away the weapon, managing to counter the enemies and grab onto the lieutenant's grenade as he tries to bomb the entire place. The explosion throws the man away from the building, but luckily, the doctor is able to make it just in time, allowing Chen to put the asteroid onto the truck. The mercenaries have also survived the attack, and the captain rushes out to stop the leaving vehicle by shooting repeatedly, but ultimately fails. The professor runs out in anger and blames the man for losing the target, but the captain is sick of the empty promises that the scientist has given him for the past 5 years. It turns out that Professor Gu has promised to treat the man's mother who's got cancer, and the only way to save her life is by using the new element. He shows the captain that her operation has already been planned, which is why they must retrieve the asteroid no matter the cost. Later that night, Chen has decided to look for the dragon alongside the doctor, as they have to stop the creature before it gets into the city. They're able to track the monster's location by using the satellite system, which quickly leads them towards the giant beast. The man thinks that they need to call reinforcements, but Dr. Ten notices that the creature is hurt, thinking that they should gain the monster's trust by treating its wound. The main character thinks that it's a terrible idea, but continues to grab the 
chains on the truck and tie it onto the metal that's pierced into the dragon. They began pulling onto the object, causing the monster to scream in pain, but eventually managing to take out the metal pole. The dragon rises immediately and approaches the people to examine the humans, but quickly leaves the area as it realizes that they're not the enemies. The next day, Chen wakes up to find that the doctor has received a terrible news by the car. He goes towards the woman's laptop, only to see a giant monster attacking the town and immediately recognizes the creature as the one that killed his wife. On the other side, the soldiers have arrived in front of the creature as the professor wants to capture the alien so that he can use it as a weapon for the humans. The mercenaries get out from the car and fire the rocket launchers towards the enemy while creating huge explosions in the process. Very soon, Chen makes it to the battlefield as well and is shocked to see how much bigger the creature has gotten, realizing that they have to get the monster out of the city. He reveals the asteroid towards the alien and manages to get the creature's attention before driving away immediately and causing the monster to chase after them. The soldiers begin their pursuit as well as all the vehicles rush behind the giant creature that's charging across the highway. Ching manages to get off the major roads and drive under the bridges while the monster shows no signs of giving up. The civilians run away in fear after witnessing the monstrosity and the creature barely misses the main character as it charges across the road. Dr. Ten looks back towards the pursuers and is surprised to see only the soldiers while the monster is nowhere in sight. The woman quickly realizes that the creature is flying in the air as it prepares to take down their vehicle from above. Before the enemy can get to the asteroid, a massive creature appears below the water while ramming into the port. This causes massive shockwaves on the ground that flips over the truck as the dragon launches directly towards the alien creature. The tentacle monster is pushed back by the attack while crashing into the soldier's car. However, the creature recovers quickly and begins flying towards the skyscrapers immediately, but the dragon chases the monster closely behind while ripping through the building. At the same time, Ching is able to regain consciousness as he slowly gets out from the car. The main character rushes towards the professor right away and punches him in anger, blaming that all this damage is caused by the man's ambition. The captain rushes forwards and points a gun at Chen's head, trying to kill the man once and for all. The lieutenant tries stopping his teammate from committing murder, but is quickly pushed towards the ground. Suddenly, the man notices falling concrete from the buildings above and pushes his teammate away while saving the soldier's life, but is mortally wounded as a result. The girl rushes towards the lieutenant and carries him on her shoulder, promising to save him no matter the cost. Ching manages to get up once again and stops the professor who's clearly out of his mind, while Dr. Ten knocks away the captain who was trying to stab the main character from behind. This only angers the soldier even more as he charges towards the woman and throws her onto the ground before trying to end her life as well. What they don't realize is that the monsters are continuing to battle right above their heads and the alien creature seems to be getting the upper hand. It jumps towards the dragon while pushing the opponent's body towards the ground, causing the creature to fall onto the people and throwing them into the air. The tentacle monster lands on the ground and roars furiously in victory while Ching slowly gets up once again. However, he quickly realizes that the captain is gravely wounded, causing the men to continuously spit out blood. He desperately takes out the medical documents for his mother and stares at the paper hopelessly before passing away. Meanwhile, the lieutenant is being carried by the woman, but he realizes that he may not be able to live much longer. Things get even worse as they run into the giant tentacle creature, forcing the man to sacrifice himself as he rushes towards the enemy while carrying the grenades. The soldier screams in agony as her friend explodes right in front of the monster while covering the creature in flames, but the enemy is able to recover very quickly. Chen sees this and realizes that the only hope for victory is to help the dragon while he slowly maneuvers towards the asteroid. The man uses all his remaining energy to grab onto the stone as he manages to bring the rock right in front of the giant reptile. Chen grabs onto the object and pries open the outer shells, eventually revealing the asteroid and fatally wounding himself by the radiation. The man falls down right in front of the dragon as the creature swallows the rock immediately so that no one else can be harmed by the asteroid. The massive reptile roars furiously at the enemy as it begins coiling up and trying to strangle the opponent to death. Ching slowly fades out from consciousness as he begins seeing his wife just like the way she was 10 years ago as it was the only time that he was truly happy. 
The main character finally passes away after doing all he can to save the people, while the doctor begins noticing the air force rushing in from the sky. The military bombards the creatures immediately by dropping bombs at the monsters, causing huge explosions on the ground that apparently kills them both at the same time. The monster attacks are reported on the news, while the professor is taken to jail for his crimes against humanity, and Ching is finally able to rest in peace alongside his wife. Sometimes later, the woman receives an emergency call from the harbors, warning her that the monsters are attacking from the oceans, as more of the asteroids are clearly still present on Earth. So what do you guys think about this movie? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.